Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, it's Krista at The Secret Urinary. Welcome to a Crochet Digest Thanksgiving edition. Happy Thanksgiving or happy Thanksgiving weekend to everybody who is celebrating it. We are going to be celebrating it today because yesterday, well, day before, long story. Anyway, stomach bug, demobilizing. De anyway, the stomach bug wasn't so bad, but for me, can you hear that bird? I think it's like right here. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't been watching for a long time, about 15 years ago, I had a, what I think it's called a colonectomy. You get your whole large intestine taken out. It, I was predisposed to colon cancer, 100% genetic. So no colon, but which is fine, totally great. But it means if you get a stomach bug, it really hurts. Like it hurts a lot because I don't think your small intestine is built for that sort of thing. Anyway, TMI, I know, anyway, immobilized, down and out, no Thanksgiving at this house. So we are doing Thanksgiving today, Friday. We could do it a little later, but then I feel guilty. Like, what are you doing? So while you're watching this, I'm going to be, I hopefully I've already peeled potatoes. But I'm probably boiling potatoes and getting some, we're not going to do turkey. We're going to do chickens, plural, lots of chickens. We're saving the turkey for Christmas, but, oh, that gets me to recipe exchange. Anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Now, recipe exchange, if you have a favorite recipe for whatever holiday you celebrate, doesn't have to be Christmas, doesn't have to be Thanksgiving, whatever your favorite holiday of the year is, you, we are going to be hatching a recipe exchange or a place where we can all kind of dump our recipes and then put it out as a cute book of some sort. So like appetizers, sweets, savories beverages, whatever your favorite food is that makes you happy. Like you're like, Ooh, I know like it's going to be a good day. I'm having this. So I'm thinking of using recipe keeper. It is available on computers, both Mac and PC and phones, both kinds, tablets, both kinds. So you can use it on whatever device. Plus you can also scan a photo and it'll figure it out or you can type your stuff in, it'll figure it out, or you can drag a recipe over from a website, it'll figure it out. So if you wanna partake with that, I have to go figure it out still. I just found it right now, so I'm just telling you in advance, Recipe Keeper, unless you've done a recipe exchange and have an even better idea or like a, a thought on how to do it easier, there is, there was a suggestion just to use Google Docs, but then I don't think it's gonna be as, easy, I guess, because some people don't know Google Docs. Like I just learned Google Docs. <laughs> like, well, not just, I guess about 10 years ago or eight years ago, like it was new to me. So I think Recipe Keeper might be easier because you can just take a photo of your recipe. So that could be easier to do. Haven't totally figured it out. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and keep your eye out. I'll be putting out a video in the next coming week or so of like how to actually do it, where to put your recipes, how to link, or I'll share a link, or you can connect your recipes to that file or something like that. Anyway, that's being hatched. Let me know if we have any recipe exchange masters in the house. Tell me what to do in the comments. This weekend, we have Ultimate Tassel Guide, How to Do Tassels 101, all the tips and tricks for doing really good tassels. And also the following day, there is gonna be a video about turning your granny squares or turning your work, which I know is, like I get a lot of questions. Why did you turn your work? Why didn't you turn your work? So this video will show you why I turn my work and when I turn my work. So that's also coming out this weekend. And another thing I have been pondering just to kind of give you a heads up is balance. Now I know we're getting close to the end of the year. It feels like it for me. <laughs> feels like we are right on the threshold of New Year's. And what I want to kind of do, and I don't, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I do believe in reassessing your life and aligning your lifestyle and your choices of how you spend your time, which is precious. How are you spending your time? Are you getting all the reward that you want from how you're spending your time? Like, are you enjoying it? So for me, this past year, my goal was pump out videos. I wanted a tutorial every week. I wanted a podcast every Wednesday. I wanted shorts, reels. I wanted all this like video content, which I've done. 
and I did enjoy it. But downside of putting out all that content and writing all those patterns, my house is a mess. My kids are feeding themselves. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm dropping balls in other areas of my life. So I'm trying to hatch a plan for myself of like, how do you want to spend your days? Like how much time are you able to happily spend doing videos? How much time are you able to happily crochet? Now my problem with it, the big problem, I don't have time to crochet, which is kind of an epicenter pinnacle of my hobby, my passion, everything I enjoy doing, not al almost everything I enjoy doing, but it's a big thing that I enjoy. And I don't honestly have time to crochet with my current schedule and like the content I'm putting out and everything that goes into making that content. That's a problem because I obviously love crochet and my Litza was over. If anybody remembers Litza, I think from podcast episode 26, she, we get her on screen. Anyway, Litza came over and she was like, what, you crochet in your spare time? And I was like, yes, like I love to crochet. And she's like, that's remarkable. Like most people, like she's like, now, you know, your channel's a bit like a job, it's like your work. But I'm like, it's still crochet. Like I still love doing it. I don't have enough time to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like even middle of the night, I don't think it's really healthy to like, <laughs> not sleep and crochet instead of sleeping. Do you know what I mean? So thinking of balance, thinking of doing like a block schedule for myself ish, even just proportionate of like, how many days a week do I need to spend with the kids? I'm going to say Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to say two days. How much time do you need to keep your house like so that you can walk through your doorways and you don't look like a bad episode of hoarders? I'd say one day a week, get yourself organized, get yourself planned. So that's three days. I want one day just to play with yarn, not do a tutorial, not build a blanket, but like grab some yarn and a hook, put on a TV show or a podcast and enjoy the yarn, like get the yarn to do something fun. I want to do that one day. And by day, I mean three hours. I get three hours from about nine until about noon without kids. That's my window. That's my, <laughs> so in those three hours, what can I do? That's generally what I'm thinking. And I also want to do a puzzle. I love jigsaw puzzles. I haven't done one this year. No, I did. I did one this year. I did it like a week ago, two weeks ago, and I loved it. It was so nice. I felt so lazy. I felt so like, I almost felt guilty doing a jigsaw. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, you should be doing all these other things. You have like four patterns to edit. You have all this stuff to do on your website. You have all this stuff to do on Ravelry. You have all this stuff to do on YouTube and don't even start me on social media. I've been wanting to get that done all year. Haven't got it done. So I'm like, I'm going to do a puzzle and I did it and I love it. So I'm going to set aside one of those three hours a week for puzzling which kind of gets me down to about six hours a week for filming, which sounds like a lot. It's not really a lot of research goes into it a lot of, cause I don't want to like misspeak, which I do all the time anyway, but I don't want to like miss out or leave out something from whatever we're talking about. What I think I'm going to be doing is putting out a video every week and it's going to be a tutorial or it's going to be a podcast or it's going to be a topic. There's going to be a video every week and that's how it's going to be. Still live chats on Fridays. I still love that. I think it's really great. I'm not sure how it's going to fit into everything, but I haven't finalized my, what balance looks like to me. So that is coming up. Also some membership stuff, just to make sure whatever level you're at, you feel you're getting value for it. Also thinking full breaks. <laughs> we'll just do a subscription thing on the website where you can subscribe and you get your patterns for free. Something like that. That might also just be a lot better value for you and something fun also and not more stuff that I am responsible for. I feel like a teenager, like, oh my gosh, I can't do it all. So that's where we're at. Feeling pretty good, right? Voice isn't even hoarse. Oh my gosh, I'm learning photography too. So I guess Instagram's coming next year, but watch out. It's going to be so good. Like it's so good. 
So let me just talk about that for a sec. So, a while ago, told my husband I needed to get a new phone because I needed the camera on it to take pictures for Instagram. He's like, why don't you use the camera you have? I'm like, I can't, it's too hard. I'm giving you the Coles Notes the nutshell version. It's too hard. He's like, why don't you hire somebody to teach you how to do it? I'm like, who are you, how? He's like, call the store, tell them you need somebody to teach you how to use hmm? the equipment that they sold you. I'm sure they have somebody. I'm like, are you serious? Anyway, he's already on the phone with the, with the company being like, my wife, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Tomorrow's fine. Anyway, this guy shows up totally fantastic. He's like my new best friend. He's here every week now. He has all my lighting sorted out. He has all like every, all my problems, all my things are like, oh, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. He's got it all figured out, like figured out. So I have some settings on my camera that work for what we're doing. So I don't have to totally memorize everything, although he thinks I should. Let's see about it. Last thing kind of on the list is proper well, catalog photos getting that done and also well he taught me how to do that pretty good right haven't done it yet but I know how and which I have to do today also actually and Instagram photos is next like pretty pictures not necessarily for Instagram also for thumbnails also for patterns for all that stuff I need pretty pictures so he's teaching me how to tackle it we're in the process of it. So now I'm in the really fun part of like looking for props, right? You, that's, I, that's how people do pretty pictures. You need to buy stuff, which is like the best part. Like, I love it. So that is what I have to also sneak out and do today before I pick my kids up from school. Hold on, do I have time? If I run, I have time. I have an hour and 20 minutes to finish talking, grab one of my kids, Go check out, because it's it's Friday, right? So it is uh, not farmer's market. It's Maasai market at my local shopping mall, which means you can buy all like the curio or the souvenirs or like the handmade Kenyan stuff. Although they have a lot of stuff from East Africa and they have a, a lot of tie dye from like Taiwan. That's not Kenyan, just saying. But they do have a lot of Kenyan stuff and I wanna get some cute, I want, I'm browsing for baskets and I thought that would be a good place to start. So I have to scoot over there and then zoom back, get the boys, lunch, and then we're right back in to the Thanksgiving wheel of life. I have to do some pictures also. Weather, raining, and I wanna say cold. Like I have, I'm under three blankets at night and a hot water bottle on my feet. So it's like, right now it is like 19 degrees and it's middle of the day. So it might get to like 22, let me tell you. 22 degrees, let me see. It's 17 right now it says, you see that? I think it's a lie. Mine says 19 on my thermometer here. So anyway, that's what's up at the Yarnery. I hope you all are having a super great weekend. If you have any suggestions, ideas, whatever you have to tell me or thoughts, let me know in the comments and I'll be checking those out over the weekend. And thank you so much for being such a great part of my life. I am super thankful to you. Stay hooked.